closed for 30 years, but we found out today that you can still get into the old Cleveland Aquarium at Gordon Park. But that doesn't mean you should go in. Only on 5 Tonight, Jonathan Wall shows us and Cleveland City leaders all of the potentially dangerous problems he found inside this vacant building, which happens to be right near a playground. I'm standing in the back room of what was the Cleveland Aquarium, but now, as you can see, there are many dangerous things just sitting around. This is one of a couple of doors that were wide open for anyone to walk on through. I went through the propped open doors and found sharp, broken glass sticking out and all over the floor. The roof is caving in. Dangerous debris everywhere. Signs of people living here with remnants of fires. Chairs lined up. A makeshift basketball hoop on the wall. There's a sign saying keep out, but no fence here. The kids playing around, they could just go over there. Like my daughter right now, she could just run, run right over there. You guys coming out of here? I found two young men coming out of that building. They said they were there taking artsy photos, but admitted they were taking a risk. Who knows what can be in there? I found a Cleveland police officer sitting by the building. I told him about the several openings. He didn't know about them. You can understand it would be a little dangerous. The officer closed the double doors, but couldn't keep another door closed. Unacceptable. I notified Cleveland Councilman Jeffrey Johnson. He walked through the building, found an empty freezer that could have been deadly for a child playing hide and go seek. He appreciated my call. Immediately today, uh, after I finish um, here, I'm going to call the director to um, get out here and, and secure this door. The councilman tells me he hopes to have this secure within the next 48 hours. In the meantime, parents, just keep your kids away. I'll stay on top of it for you. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5. Good job, Jonathan. And the original aquarium was built in 1954 and closed because of structural problems. Councilman Johnson said he's pushing historical status for the building and hopes someone can repurpose it.